Hey guys, what's going on? Busy Dad here, you there, checking out the latest round of spoilers from Force of Wills, Echoes of the New World, the final set in the Lapis Cluster. And I am just going to spoil the rulers and the original support that they give to them. I don't go through every spoiler because I like to be a little bit surprised when I open up the, the packs when my box comes. So we had light the first time around and now we are going into dark with the ruler book of dark so the light was book of light and our dark ruler is book of dark so kind of like that movie the mummy book of life book of death you know where we're going with this it's a fairy tale ruler with the judgment of x energize for dark you cannot have cards with will of hope in your deck but you may pay the attribute cost of cards with will of despair with will of any attribute so again just the exact opposite of Book of Light. So it shouldn't be any surprise when you flip it over. It becomes Lapis Story, Subjugation Fairy Tale. So it's a fairy tale J ruler. Card cannot be destroyed. Again, you see no stats, cannot uh, fight either. And you may pay the attribute cost of cards with Will of Despair with Will of Any Attribute, so that ability stays. When the card enters your field, you may put a Resonator with Will of Despair with total cost X or less you own from outside the game into your field. And when a Resonator put in a field by this card leaves for a non-field zone, put this card into your ruler area as a ruler. So essentially, the book opens up. You bring in a fairy tale character uh, for the X. And then if that Resonator you bring in is destroyed or leaves the field, the book closes back up, flips back over to a ruler side, and you can then perform Judgment again. So it's just like the Book of Light, same exact thing. It's just opposite, the dark side, if you will. And uh, just like the Will of Hope, we need to check out some Will of Despair support. So here's our first one, Ariman. Now, could that have been pronounced wrong? Of course, you guys know me. Ariman, the Wicked Spirit Eye. Love the artwork already. So it's a uh, two drop, one blue, one other to play. It's a familiar Resonator, 500 attack, 700 defense, which is good. 700 defense for a two drop, good stats. Uh, Will of Despair, so we can play it with any attribute if our ruler is Book of Dark. And for zero... Your opponent reveals their hand. Play this ability only during your turn and only once per turn. Really good ability right there. The all-seeing eye. Uh, this is a really good ability to use if you have a big play you want to set up. You pay the zero. Look at your opponent's hand. Make sure there's no cancel card or any sort of disruption or any sort of uh, counter your opponent could play against you and if the coast is clear then you go for the big play so uh, this is a really good card to have and again i like the defense for 700 for a two drop abdul al hazred the sinister vizier man I, I would really have loved it if it said sinister minister but did not oh well they didn't call me for any input but they did get the artwork great looks amazing so a three drop human resonator too dark one other to play 700 attack 800 defense for a will of despair and a resonance anytime a darkness magic stone enters the field while you have abdul target opponent discards a card another really good card um, i like uh darkness of course and i like just being able to strip your opponent down with stats and debuffing and, and getting rid of cards. Here's another great way to do it. As long as you have a duel on the field, every time a Darkness Magic Stone comes in, your opponent discards a card. A really good card right there. Okay, here's a uh, here's somebody that a longtime players will know. It's Yamata no Orochi, the Resurrected Calamity. Yamata so fat. Look at that defense. 1,600, but zero attack. And it's a cost of eight, three red, five other to play, but it's Will of uh, Despair and a 12 Apostles Resonator. And there are ways to cheat 12 Apostles in, um, but you know, here's how we do it. So it's uh, Will of Despair and Swiftness. When this card enters your field, it deals 800 damage to each other Resonator. That includes your own. That's really powerful. And whenever this card attacks, it deals 800 damage to your opponent and each other resonator. So just from Yamada coming into the field, even though it has zero attack, it's gonna hit everybody for 800 just coming in. And with swiftness, if you decide to attack, it's gonna hit everybody for 800 again. So that will pretty much wipe the board of a lot of resonators, 90% 
of the resonators in this game. This, this card is going to come in and take care of. Plus, it's going to smack your opponent for 800. Again, the cost is really steep at 8, but um, we have that the um, Gil shift card that um, brings in a uh, 12 Apostle right away. I mean, it, it has to get RFG'd, but uh, there, like I said, there are ways to get uh, Yamada in for cheaper than the 8. And ah, uh, ah, uh, one of my favorite characters in this game and looking uh, dapper as usual, it's Umar Atawil. So it's a seven drop human slash Cthulhu resonator, 800 attack and defense stats, terrible for the cost, but we're not looking at him for the stats. Uh, he's a will of despair. But look at this. When this card enters your field, search your deck for up to one non-chant card with a total cost of one, up to one non-chant card with a total cost of two, and up to one non-chant non card, say that five times real fast, with a total cost of three, and put them right into your field, then shuffle your deck. It's a really great enter ability, especially if you can build a uh, deck around it with uh, one, two, and three drops with good enter effects of their own. And you can just kind of get a chain going on here. Uh, Umar Atawel, really just um, interesting. I, I really like when cards are unique. This is a unique card. And again, seven seems expensive, but they made him a Cthulhu Resonator. And we do have that Abdul card from Frozen Casket that says if you uh, ban uh, pay, I think it's pay three or pay two and banish Abdul and you put a Cthulhu right into the field. Uh, that's one way to cheat Azathoth in, and that will be a way to cheat Umar Atta Will in uh, if you wanted to. So a really good card. We're losing light here, but we got it back. A really good card, really good enter effect. So I'd be, uh, I'm already drawn to see if there's anything worthwhile to build around this. So I'm sure I'll be tinkering. Tell a dark fairy tale. So it says a one drop chant. We're only doing it on our turn for one dark. Look at the top four cards of your deck. You may reveal a card with Will of Despair from among them, put them into your hand, put the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. So, I mean, good card. One drop, look at four cards, get a Will of Despair, put it right into your hand. If it's the mid game, just like that Book of Light, I think the Light had a spell like this too. Uh, pay the one, grab the card you want. If it's a two or three drop and you have the stones, put it right into the field as well. So again, can't complain about a card like this. And finally, today is the final battle, which is, again, a chant. You're only doing it on your turn. One dark and X. But you may pay 200 life rather than paying one up to X times to play this card. So uh, instead of one and three, you can pay one and 600 life. So the result is J Resonators, your opponent controls, gains minus X, minus X, until end of turn x for, for whatever for every one in the x they'll lose 100 attack and defense this card is scary i mean it's really scary uh the fact that if you want to pay a ton of life you can just completely wipe your opponent's board if uh you have resonators on the field ready to if the game is in within reach and you have the life to say, you know, just pay 2000 life or 2400 life, then the J resonators, your opponent control that I believe lose minus 12 minus 12. I mean, you, if you have the life to, uh, to spare, or if you have the stones to spare, uh, you can basically just eliminate your opponent's board, whether they have barrier or not, because it doesn't target, and then just swing in for the kill. That's how I'm reading this card. If, if I'm wrong, just let me know. But um, this card could be really scary, uh, j just on first glance. But, you know, I, I've i seen cards and spoilers in spoilers in past sets and, and would think, wow, this card is really not that great, or, man, this card's unbelievable. And it just wasn't uh, just as good or as bad as that. I would think at first glance. Uh, this one definitely, I guess, is going to be time will tell. <laughs> but uh, like I said, it could be a really scary card in a really way to just eliminate the entire field so you could swing in for the kill. But that's it for today's spoilers. Uh, let me know what you think. Comment below. Uh, it's I, I kind of like these a little better than the... Uh, the light spoilers, but it's only because Umar Atawil is in it, and you know I love Yag, my boy, and Cthulhu's, and the Eye, and all that stuff. But uh, again, really good round of spoilers. Let me know what you think. Comment below. Do you like these? Hate them? I love our discussion. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, more videos, more spoilers, more everything coming.
So thanks for a few minutes and I'll talk to you soon.